Finance Chapter, Section 3, Payment Strategies. Suppose you're a person taking out a loan of $135,000 at 4% interest for 30 years. Monthly payments are $644.51. If you do some analyzing, you find that after 360 payments, you've paid over $232,000. Subtract what you originally borrowed from what you paid gives you the interest or the cost of this loan. When you compare that 97000 to the 135000 that was borrowed, you are paying an additional 72% or about three-fourths times more than what you originally borrowed. In this example, we have a amount borrowed of $34,500 at 5% interest for seven years, monthly payment just under $500, after seven years of payments, they've paid almost $41,000. Comparing what was paid with what was borrowed, the interest or the cost is just under $6,500 above what was borrowed, which is approximately a fifth more or about 20%. It's distressing to see figures like this, but there are some ways to minimize how much interest you pay on a loan. You can reduce the amount borrowed, wait until you have a larger down payment, shop around for a lower interest rate by comparing interest rates offered at different financial institutions, shorten the term or the length of a loan, and another option is to add more money to your normal monthly payment. Remember from the previous section that when you calculated each month's principal and interest, the amount of interest kept going down because the balance was decreasing each month. By adding an extra principal payment to your monthly check, you're accelerating this process. The extra money goes directly toward reducing the balance. Let's see how it works. Here we have a loan of $100,000, monthly payment, a little under $500. Here's what the original amortization schedule would look like. In this scenario, we're going to add an extra $50 above and beyond the required monthly payment. This $50 will be considered extra principal and reduce the amount owed. Those two values, the principal portion of the monthly plus the additional $50 in the payment, combine to reduce the balance owed. As the balance is less than the original amortization schedule, we will see a reduction in the interest. It's not a dramatic reduction initially, but if we continue on adding an additional principal of $50 to our monthly payment, we're going to see how our ending balance is decreasing throughout this loan. And as a matter of fact, if we keep adding $50 extra principal payment to our required monthly payment, this loan will be paid off after the 300th payment, which means five years earlier than the original term and at a savings of $14,380 some dollars.